الليلت يا ابن شاهق They opened the gates and people were carrying a body They put him on the bridge of Baghdad and they said هذا موسى بن جعفر إمام الرافضة For three days the body of Imam Al-Kadhim Salamullah Alayh was on the bridge of Baghdad Ten years is with Mansur, ten years with the Khalifa that's known as Mahdi, a year or so with Hadi, and the last one is Harun for about twelve years. All of those Khulafa that the Imam lived through, every single one of them called him over to Baghdad, imprisoned him temporarily, Sometimes they sent him into exile. And lastly, Harun called him over to Baghdad. According to some accounts, on a few occasions he was imprisoned. The last one, the purpose of it was to kill the Imam. He sends his soldiers to go and arrest Imam al kadhim It is said he was praying in the masjid of Rasulullah. Behind the grave of Rasulullah, he was praying. In the middle of the Salat, they came and they dragged him. In the middle of his Salat. Imam al kadhim looked at the grave of his grandfather, Rasulullah. He said, Ya Jadda, ilayka ashku. Oh my grandfather, to you I complain. And they captured the Imam, Salamullah alayhi, and they sent him to a prison. First, he was put under a house arrest, somebody's house. Then he was transferred from that house into another house. Al-Fadl ibn Yahya al-Barmaki. Then they transferred him into a prison. And that was the prison of a Sindhi ibn Shah. The Mal'oon Sindhi ibn Shahak, the last person who was the prison guard that the Imam was given to, he put, in, put the Imam in solitary confinement in a very, very terrible circumstance. It was beneath the ground. God knows how many levels beneath the ground. A small sort of like a hole even in the ground, okay? Where there was not space to comfortably lie down or sit. And above his head was covered and only a small hole for him to breathe. Only Allah knows the extent of the torture that the Imam had to endure. Some narrations say the prison cell and the dungeon in which the Imam السلام, was present was so dark that he was unable to distinguish dark the day from the night. One narrations tell us that when the Imam would one day be suffocating from the tightness of this dungeon, he would want to open or somewhat come close to the door of the prison cell. And there would be the Sindhi standing. He would slap Imam Salamullahi Alayh on his cheeks. The Imam was heard once beseeching Allah to take him out from the prison cells. Allahu Akbar. Why would the Imam ask this? One of the prison guards asked him. He said, Ya ibn Rasulillah, O Musa ibn Ja'far, why have you asked that you leave the prison cell from your Lord? He said, because when I was in prostration, I heard one of the guards cursing my mother Fatima. And I could not bear hearing the cursing of my beloved mother Fatima. Fatima to Zahra. Harun one day took some days and he personally poisoned them. And he gave them to Sindhi and he said, Give them to Musa ibn Ja'far. And Imam al Kadhim alayhi salam ate those dates. After three days, Sindhi ibn Shahik brings some people. He says, Look, look at the state of the Imam. We haven't harmed him. He is good health, body is good, we haven't harmed him. 
Imam al kazim said, no, they've given me the poison and I shall not be living for too long after this. And indeed, one of the Shia, he said, we came and we gathered at the gate of the prison. We thought Imam al kazim was going to come out. He said, but what we saw is that they opened the gates and people were carrying a body. And they came out and they said, Hada Musa ibn Ja'far, Imam al Rafidah.